little stressed, actually. I have to wake up early. I have a 5 a.m. flight in three weeks, and I cannot stop thinking about it. I mean, friends want to get drunk tonight. I can't. I got to wake up early in three weeks, and it's, like, so paralyzing, this early flight. I know it's coming, but I won't be ready. You're never prepared for a 5 a.m. flight. I'll get 11 minutes of sleep. I'll pack drunk. You ever pack drunk? It's the best. Because you land and you see your bag and you're like, what is in this bag? What is this surprise box that I've sent to myself? Oh my God, I have nine t-shirts and a snorkel mask. That's great. I'm in Montreal. One time I got so drunk in Phoenix, I packed, flew to LA, opened my suitcase. I had the hotel's TV remote control. The grossest item in a hotel. I packed drunk. Packing for a flight, much different than packing for a drive, right? When you pack for a flight, you really think about it. Do I need 12 belts? You, you weigh it. But when you're driving, all hands on deck. We're driving, bring it, we're driving. Honey, should I bring the blender? Yeah, we're driving, I'll bring it. May wanna make some fresh tomato soup this weekend. I'll put the treadmill in there too, just in case we're driving. 2005 tax returns, bring them. What if the accountant calls? We're driving, we're driving. Man, been drinking so much here in Montreal. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I perform drunk. <laughs> Sometimes I do my job blackout drunk and I'm great. I am hilarious. And I record it and the next day I review it. Not that good. So now, because of that, I no longer review it. <laughs> what about myself? My uh, dad, is, uh, when he was 65, he developed some heart problems, and he became a vegan, and he reversed his heart disease. Thank you very much. Some cities clap at that. Not here. You guys go, fuck your pussy-ass dad. <laughs> this is Montreal. There's no vegan. We have gravy on our cereal in Montreal. I just told you my dad was gonna live longer and you sat there mad at me because I said he was a vegan. Fuck you, I hope your dad dies tonight.